How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARC Let's Build video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this Glowtail pen that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with really easy to follow along instructions so you can get this build on your ARC. And also don't forget to check out the description below for a list of building materials you will need as well as the map cords where I built this. And for the paint scheme and the decorations on this build, those were all done by another YouTuber whose name is You Were A Monkey. So make sure you go check out her channel, I'll leave it linked below and show her some love for her hard work on this build. And my idea for this build was to make it look like an actual lizard tank so we have some hidey holes down below. We have some basking stations up above with heat lamps, everything you'll need for a real life lizard tank. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is lay down our foundation. So for this foundation, we're going to place two rows of five wooden foundations. Then right here on this left side in front of these last two foundations, we're going to add one more in front of each of those. And this will make up the initial foundation for our build. Now we are going to be adding a balcony towards the end of the build that will kind of wrap around these sides. So just make sure you leave enough space for that balcony. But you can go ahead and you can switch all of these foundations to block. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and start adding some pillars. So first we're gonna start off here on the front left corner. We're actually gonna come to this side and we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation right here on the side of this foundation. Then on each side of that fence foundation, we're gonna snap four high stone pillars. Then we're gonna come over here to this side and do the same thing over on this side of this foundation. Now the next spot is over here on this right corner. We're going to place a fence foundation right here on the front. And we're just going to do this on the corner. We're going to add four more stone pillars. We'll do that again over here on this foundation right here. Then we'll come to this middle foundation. So you count one, two, three foundations in and add a fence foundation right here. And again, place four high stone on each side of that. And then we will add one more fence foundation here on this back corner and do the same thing on the corner. Then we're just going to come inside our build between these two pillars right here. And we're going to add two more stone pillars right here in the middle and then add one wooden pillar on top of that. Next, we're just going to go ahead around the bottom of our build and put a thatch ceiling in front of each one of these wooden foundations. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start building up our walls using those thatch ceilings. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the front left corner and just work our way around. So coming here to the front left, we're going to get out a wooden wall and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you have something that looks like this. It will actually be snapping on the thatch ceiling. So go ahead and place that down. We're then gonna add two greenhouse walls on top of it and a wooden wall to finish it off. We're gonna do the exact same thing right here. And we'll also do the exact same thing right here on this side. Now right here on this front portion right here, we're just going to go ahead and start off by getting out a greenhouse wall and again doing the same thing. Add two more on top and then finish it off with a wood wall and then go ahead and do the same thing in these next two spots. Coming around to this side in this first spot, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to use a greenhouse door frame and fill that in with a greenhouse door. Go ahead and add two more greenhouse walls on top and then a wooden wall. And in this next spot, we're just gonna place three greenhouse walls and a wooden wall. Again, remember we are rotating the snap point on each of the bottom most walls. Here along this entire back wall, we're just going to place 
four high wooden walls again rotating the first wall snap point and then just add three more on top of it coming over to this side on these first two spots before this pillar we're going to start off by placing three greenhouse walls and then a wooden wall on top of those do the same thing right here and then in this last spot we're going to start off with a wooden wall then two greenhouse walls and then a wooden wall and this will make up the walls for the outside of our build so now you can go ahead and you can pick up or destroy all of those thatch ceilings next we're going to come inside of our build and add some interior walls so first we're going to head to this corner over here where we have these two foundations that stick out and we're gonna go ahead and just place a stone door frame in front of each of these foundations kind of splitting those two pillars then we'll back out over here to where we have these three pillars right here and we'll add a stone door frame in between each of these and then add a stone wall on top of each of them then right here in front of this pillar we're going to add a stone wall and then a sloped stone wall right and then we'll just add one more sloped stone wall right right here and then we will place one more stone wall right here and this will make up all of our interior walls next here on the interior we're going to go ahead and start building it up a little bit more so first we're going to go ahead and place a wooden stair right here and right here below it and then we're going to go ahead and switch both of those to ramp then as we come up the stairs right here we're going to go ahead and place wooden ceilings now it doesn't really matter which direction you place them in just make sure you're being consistent then on the other side of those wooden ceilings we're going to go ahead and place another wooden stair going down and again switch those to ramp and then go ahead and place two more wooden ceilings here and again make sure you're placing them in the same direction as the first ones that you placed lastly we're just going to go ahead and right here on top of this stone wall we're going to add a stone railing all right so now back on the outside we're going to add a little bit more detail using stone railings so we're going to come in right here and we're going to get out a stone railing and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be snapping this to the foundation itself if you remember when we placed our walls we actually snapped them to our thatch ceilings so we still have our foundation snap point to work with and i tested this on official settings and it worked just fine so you should have no issue doing this on official so we're going to come in here to this wooden wall and we're going to get this snap point right here which is on the wooden foundation and it'll look like it's kind of intersecting with the wooden wall so go ahead and place that down and just when you're doing this guys just be careful make sure you have the right snap point so that you don't destroy the wall behind where you're placing it we're going to add another one right here then we're going to go ahead up here and add another one on top of this wooden ceiling again it will look like it's intersecting with the greenhouse wall place another one right here come around to this side and we're going to add one more right here on this foundation and then one more on this ceiling right here now on these three greenhouse walls we're going to add one more on the bottom of each of these and again you want to make sure you're getting the right snap point so just like that we'll come around to this side and do this right here on this wall as well now on the back side we're just going to go ahead and place one across all of these back foundations we'll come over to this side and again place one more on each of these greenhouse walls We'll place one more right here in front of this wooden wall and then we will just place one more right here in front of this greenhouse wall next we're going to go ahead and start working on our roof so the first thing we're going to do is come into the top here and we're just going to fill this in with metal ceilings now just make sure you're placing all of these in the same direction so whichever one you place first make sure you place the rest of them in the same direction as that one Now that we have this initial ceiling filled in, 
We're going to come back in here to these wooden walls right here. And we're going to get out a metal ceiling again. And we're basically going to be snapping this on top of our wooden walls. So it should look just like this. Then we're going to go around the entire roof. And we're going to kind of create like a rim that hangs off of the roof a little bit. Now the one thing you want to be careful for is when you go to place this next one. You just want to make sure that you're rotating through the snap point so that you get the snap point that lines up perfectly with the ceiling you've already placed. So if we rotate it a few times, you can see this one right here lines up perfectly. So we'll place it down and we're just going to continue around creating this kind of rim, making sure that they all line up perfectly with each other. All right, so now we're gonna do one more thing here for our roof. So starting off on this corner, we're gonna go in here and get out a metal fence foundation. And there's gonna be two snap points on any side. We're gonna have this kind of inside one like this, and then this outside one like this. So the snap point we want is the inside one. So go ahead and place that down. We're gonna go ahead and add another one right here. And now if it's stubborn like this and it places on the outside anyways, something you can do, go ahead and pick this up. And what you can do is basically attempt to place it on the outside snap point and you can trick arc and it'll actually bounce it into the inside snap point. So if you're having any issues placing it, try that. And if that doesn't work, you're just going to have to go from different angles until you can get the snap point to place properly. Unfortunately, it can be a headache sometimes, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to go around this entire rim of our ceiling or our roof here. And we're just going to go ahead and place these fence foundations down on the inside snap point of every ceiling on each side. Now, once you have all of those fence foundations placed, the next thing we're going to do is come to the bottom of them. And we're just going to go ahead and place a stone railing hanging down from them going all the way around our build. Now the last thing we're going to do on the outside of our build is go ahead and add that patio that we talked about at the start of the video. So we're going to start off in this corner by placing a wooden foundation. We'll add two more to the side of it. We'll add another one right here on this corner and then two more to the side of that. Then on this foundation right here, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation. We'll snap a wooden pillar on this corner and another one right here. And we'll do the same thing on this foundation right here. Then we're going to go around the entire base of these foundations and add stone railings, one high. And we'll skip this point right here. And then in that spot we skipped, we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden stair. All right, so now we just have a few things to do here on the inside real quick to finish this off. So first on the bottom floor, we're going to head through here and place a feeding trough down right in here. Then we're going to head up to our second floor. And we're going to go ahead, and this is kind of advanced, so if you can't do this yet, don't worry about it. It's just a little bit of a feature to add, just to kind of make this feel more like a lizard tank. So we're going to go ahead and place a tech light, one right here above this platform, and then another one above this platform, so just about like right here. And what you can do is you can spray paint those red, and then once you turn them on, it will kind of give a red glow, which will basically work as a heat lamp in a lizard tank. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, as always, you or a monkey is going to come in and work her magic on the paint and the decorations. So guys, stick around for one more second and I will show you what she comes up with. Alright guys, so like I said, you or a monkey has come in again and hooked us up with an awesome paint job and some great decorations. So I'm just going to kind of real quickly show you a little bit of what she's done. But again, guys, make sure you go check out her video. I'm going to leave it linked below for a full tour of her work on this build and make sure you show her some love for her work. But anyways, let's go ahead and start off on the outside here with the paint job. You can see she just hooked us up with this really nice paint job, some different colors all mixed in throughout the different levels of the build. And I think it looks really good. It kind of ties in the X plants there also very well. 
as we head inside here. Now the idea for this build was to make it look like a kind of like a lizard tank that you would, you know, put your lizards in, you know, being the glow tails. So what I wanted to go with with the build is this back area was kind of like a feeding area. And then also I built in these little like caves that you would have inside of your lizard tank. You know, you'd have like rocks or logs that they could hide in. So I built those in and you or a monkey did an awesome job decorating in here to make them fit in. And then the upstairs portion up here, these were meant to be kind of like your basking areas where the lizards would, you know, lay out and soak up the heat lamps. So that's why we have these heat lamps up above, as you can see on both of these. And we have a mysterious egg floating here. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, and then we have our glow tails just kind of hanging out, soaking up the heat. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which helps the channel grow. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. Also, guys, once again, make sure you go check out You Were a Monkey's channel and show her some love for all of her work on these builds. And of course, guys, also check out the description below for some links to my social media. Go ahead over there and follow me on those platforms. And if you build this on your ARC, go ahead and send me some pictures of this build in your world. Anyways, guys, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.